Hello and welcome to ECS News. As you can see, I'm standing outside the site of the new Mountbatten building, and we're just about to go inside and meet the project construction manager, Mike Beer, who's going to be updating us on the latest developments taking place on site. You can see the huge crane behind me, there's two of those on site, and 18 months on from the fire, you'll see that we no longer have to use our imagination when we look at the site. We can actually see a building beginning to appear. So come with me and we'll find Mike and find out what's happening at the moment. Well, here we are on site. We found Mike, he's right here beside me, and uh, we've taken away from some of his duties as, as construction project manager for the site. We've taken the advantage of the fact that everyone else is on their coffee break at the moment. It's nice and quiet. Mike, it looks great here now. The last time we were here, it was a, a muddy hole in the ground, yeah. basically, and that was actually only a few weeks ago. So it you've was, transformed yeah, about six it. Weeks ago. Yeah. You've had fantastic weather. Yeah. Tell, tell us what's happening here at the moment. Well, we've made a lot of progress. As you say, it was a sort of bit of a muddy hole before uh, the last podcast, but uh, now you can see that we've uh, cast the uh, slab uh, to the cub area. Um, we've and the, the cub area is, is the central utility. Where all utilities the equipment, plant. Uh, yeah. is, most of the plant and equipment is going um, together with a lot of backup services. Um, we've got a staircase under construction here um, also and just across the site here you can see um, the uh, uh, foundation work for the ground floor slab which is going to be cast on Monday. So where are we actually standing at the moment? We're actually stood in the cup area. Um, so this uh, area is uh, structurally uh, being complete and uh, it's got a power floated uh, finish um, so it becomes very hard and resilient. And behind us is, is, is the main area of the clean room, is that right? Um, that is over in this area here. This is the um, upper level, yeah. And this is actually not the perimeter of the building. It goes, no, extends no, further no, than this. No, no, it will this. extend right over here. But this slab here will be casting on Monday next, as I said, and that will be 60% of the uh, ground floor slab. Very good. And we've got these amazing tower cranes. Yeah. They arrived and uh, were erected in a couple of days each one. Um, we'll go over and have a closer look at those in a moment. Um, essentially they'll be working very hard now. Um, this one is fully operational. Uh, the one at the western end, uh, the one on the eastern side, um, will be very shortly. So you've had some fantastic weather and that must have helped to yep. make good progress. Yes, are you, are you still on schedule? Uh, pretty much, yes. Um, not a million miles away from That's where we should be. That's very good. And uh, what, what can we be looking out for on the site over the next few weeks? Um, well, essentially, we've still got Keen on site and also Michelson's who are um, constructing the frame of the building. So all of the, you'll see many more of these columns uh, and floors uh, coming up now, um, right up to roof level. Um, we've got nego ongoing negotiations regarding the cladding um, meetings yesterday regarding that. Um, and then the roof and then pretty much the envelope will be complete um, and then we start the fit out. Right, so, so when, when will we actually have something that we would be able to see as a real building? When will we be looking forward uh, to that? Maybe a couple of months time. You'll really? As quickly start, as that? Yeah, you'll see a lot of the columns coming up out of the ground. That's very um, good. And a lot of shuttering work being done for the uh, um, first floor. Okay, and this, this is a, a 55 million pound project, yeah. so um, for us it's very exciting and yeah. uh, it's going to produce, at the moment, uh, we say that it's going to be one of the world's leading interdisciplinary clean rooms yeah. and uh, really take forward our research in nanotechnology and, uh, yeah. and in photonics. Yeah. Have you as a construction c company had any kind of interest from other um, people about what you're actually doing here? Oh, we get a lot of interest uh, from a whole range of different companies every day. Um, particularly people who wish to um, be part of the project and supply us with um, services, plant equipment. Um, it's interesting to know that a lot, a lot of the plant and equipment um, procurement which is going on now is being procured internationally from just about, well all around the world really. Um, uh, Japan, um, Holland, France, Germany, Italy, US, um, all over the place. 
So it's truly global. Yeah, truly global. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's really good. Um, we're really looking forward to having the building on stream, as you can imagine. And uh, I think that uh, our researchers are beginning to plan their their work and what they're going to be doing yeah. here. And uh, the fact that it's going so well is, is really giving everyone a huge amount of encouragement. So, yeah. so we're going to be coming back again and uh, catch up with you in a in a few weeks. And I'm sure okay. that there'll be a lot more to see. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Look forward to it.